Yeah, I'm at Frederica Manor, and uh, I uh, lived on a boat for 27 years before moving here and had no really thought about gardening. And then one of the residents uh, talked me into trying to grow 300 pound pumpkin. And so I had a garden spot. And another resident told me I needed to plant milkweed because of the, the butterflies had some problems that are becoming endangered. I planted two plants last year. Within a month, I had 30, butter, 30 caterpillars crawling around on the plants. And uh, so I started talking to other residents and one of the residents here had some experience with the monarchs <clears throat> and told me about all their, their, their little predators that the flies would lay eggs on them and it would kill them and the wasp would sting them and it would, that would kill them and they had a very low survival rate. So <clears throat> I built a, I went online and learned about these safe houses and I built an outdoor safe house that I used a fine mesh to, to enclose. It's a big box with a fine mesh and it keeps the um, the flies and the wasps away from the caterpillars, but it also gives them an outside environment to still uh, you know, develop in. I put one milkweed plant inside the safe house, and then I started transferring the caterpillars when they were about an inch and a half um, long onto the milkweed in the safe house. Well, it turns out that that worked pretty good, but I was getting them a little too late and my survival rate was uh, about, oh, 66, about a third of them I was losing. And uh, I guess they were getting infected by these flies and wasps before I could get them in the safe house. As time went on, I got better at it and I started getting them in there when they were a half inch and smaller. And my survival rate went up to about 90%. Um, uh, I released over 100 butterflies last year and uh, I have a nice plastic clear plastic uh, front door on my my safe house and the residents here started coming by and looking in my little safe house and it became a big hit and then everybody it, it's very popular here people like to come by the safe house and check out my caterpillars and my chrysalises um, this year um, I did it again and I did another hundred this year uh, I'm pretty much, I've got probably 10 or 15 chrysalises over there, and when they're gone, I'll probably be done for this year. Um, but uh, the one thing I wanted to say is, I open the door after the butterflies, uh, you know, come out of their little chrysalis, I open the front door and release them. Sometimes they just fly out, sometimes I put my finger in there and they'll climb on it, and I'll let them out. And the most spectacular thing, my most exciting thing about this whole thing is watching a butterfly fly for the first 15 seconds of its, of its butterfly life. Um, you know, they, they used to crawl at about uh, 10 yards per hour, and now they're hauling, and you know, they take off. But we have a, a building that's about 30 yards downwind, uh, Timken Lodge, and then we got a couple trees on the other side of the butter house, butterfly house that's upwind. In the first 15 seconds of the flight, the butterflies will go off my finger, they'll get caught in the wind, It'll start pushing them really hard over to the building. They don't want to go there. They know they know what a tree is already. And they start fighting the wind to get to that tree for about five seconds, and then they figure it out. All they got to do is spread their wings and glide. And in the first 15 seconds of flight, these guys master some, some very good techniques, and they always make it over to the trees. It just blows my mind. And uh, that's, <laughs> that's how I'm going to end it right there. That's my favorite thing about this whole thing.